morning, once again I was eating my breakfast rather mindlessly, my thoughts jumping from one branch to the other of my mind tree. The television was on again as usual. Chariots of Fire was playing. I was not really interested in the movie, but happened to glance once in a while when suddenly one sentence jumped out at me. Your mind is so full of running that there is no space to stand still. While I'm sure that the context of the film was different, it hit me with the force of a jackhammer. Isn't that so true? Most of us are guilty of doing too much running from one idea to the next without any pause in between. And that folks is the focus of this episode. Why do so many of us fail? Hi, I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on. You know, Earl Nightingale has famously spoken about the ratio of successes to failures. He says that if you take 100 individuals who start even at the age of 25, by the time they are 65, only one will be rich, four will be financially independent and 41 will still be working, 54 will be broke depending on others for life's necessities. Did you get the math? Out of 100, only 5 make the grade. Scary, right? And I know that if you're in your 20s and 30s or even in your 40s, 65 seems oh so far away. But time seems to be moving at a much faster pace these days. Remember, it feels just like yesterday when you were a freshly minted 25 and today you're already 35 or 40. While there are plenty of reasons for failure, I do believe that the two most important ones are consistency and perseverance. It's not the lack of ideas or plans that cause failure. It's too many ideas. Now you may ask me, is there something as too many ideas? Well, if your mind is going to hop from idea to idea like a jackdaw in search of a shiny piece, then the answer is yes. Have you seen jackdaws? They hop from place to place to place, sometimes swooping into your house, picking up the shiniest, brightest object they see. You know you have it if you are excited and latch onto the next, newest and brightest idea. And then you let go of it when the going gets tough or inconvenient. I like to call this the jackdaw syndrome. When you look back on your life, you see it strewn with various ideas, projects, people, businesses. So much so that it looks like a scene out of Hansel and Gretel. Except this time, we won't necessarily go back to our abandoned ideas. People with the Jackdaw syndrome are excellent starters, but never finish. And this is one of the main reasons for failures in our life. Well, you have company. Millions of people suffer as well. So, how do we reverse this? Remember what I said in the beginning? Consistency and perseverance and focus. Most of us with the Jackdaw syndrome love the ideation part, but follow through is lacking. So, first things first, let me pull out a simple tool that you can use here. This one's called the Idea Primer. Just like when you're painting your house or your furniture, you first apply the primer. This tool is the first thing you apply to any project. So here's what you need to do. Look at your list of unfinished or barely started projects, assignments or ideas. Pick them up one by one and ask, am I interested or am I committed? And answer it honestly. If you're just interested, chances are you will do it while the novelty lasts or when it's convenient for you or when the moonlight falls just so on your face. If you're committed, however, you will do it whatever it takes. No excuses. No stories, just action. Now start eliminating all things which are just interesting and bring your focus to the one or two big ideas or projects and put down an action plan. Just the first few steps. You will notice that once you put down an action plan, things start moving into completion. 
like I tell my clients ever so often, when you finish step one, step two will appear. Just do step one. Simple, isn't it? Successes, my friends, are not built in the in-between moments. Successes are built on the foundations of commitment, hard work, inconveniences and a will to take the puppy on the road. Of course the going gets tough, which is why only 5 out of every 100 ever make it. Let's commit to changing that number now. Know any jackdaws? Tag them in this video and share it. And remember to subscribe for more such life hacks.